course, referring to the fire on Saratown Mountain. It's been a big story all week long. This is a live look as the sun is just about to go down between the smoke and the fog we've had at times. It's been hard to see exactly where the flames are. We promise you that is a live picture, and this is good that you can't see that ring of fire anymore. Earlier this afternoon, the Forest Service said the number of acres burned remain holding steady at 750. Some good news that wildfire is now 41% contained, and the evacuation order has since been lifted. Still no injuries and no buildings damaged. Governor Cooper, we've just learned, plans to visit the Volunteer Fire Department tomorrow morning to thank first responders. There was a hearing today in federal court regarding North Carolina's new voter ID requirement. Plaintiffs in the case asked for implementation evidence, citing incidents of voters being turned away despite the recent or during the recent municipal elections. The defense argued that the move wasn't necessarily what today's hearing was meant to focus on. That was supposed to be setting a trial date, which has not yet been announced. The judge said they will make that decision soon. And a former state lawmaker from Guilford County is coming out of retirement to run for office again. John Blust, a Republican, says he will seek the newly formed 62nd State House District. Mr. Blust served nine terms in the State House in Raleigh before retiring five years ago.